Now, voters don't seem to be focusing on these Clinton emails. They've had little impact on the polls. She's moved into the lead, despite the scandals. To Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano, who joins us by phone. Judge, there's a lot of detail here. Cut through it, please. Go straight at it. Is there something different with this new allegation that we should know about? I don't think there's anything different, Stuart, but the new allegations very nicely, tightly, neatly, and in an easily understandable way focus the lies that Mrs. Clinton uttered while under oath before the House Benghazi uh, Committee. So there's four areas in which, uh, in which she lied. Catherine just uh, outlined all of them. The Justice Department can do with this whatever they want. But this is a slam-dunk case that in the ordinary world, where her name Hillary Rodham instead of Hillary Rodham Clinton, this, would, this information would be on its way to a grand jury in, in a matter of weeks. Judge, these, this email scandal has dragged on for months. Now, is there a new time frame by which we might get to the bottom of these latest charges that she lied under oath to Congress? Well, the Justice Department has an unwritten policy, Stuart, that it will not indict someone who's running for office within 90 days of election day unless it is necessary to preserve the integrity of the election. Now, the unless it is necessary to preserve the integrity of the election is obviously a basis for indicting her. But, Stuart, the, the people who will decide whether or not she should be indicted for what is clearly either perjury, providing false information, or misleading Congress. There are three different potential crimes here, Stuart. The people who will decide whether or not to indict her are the same people who decided not to indict her for her failure to keep secure uh, 110 secret and top secret emails that were found on her server. Judge, I'm reading between the lines. You say there are three crimes here. Am I right in saying that you think that this will just pass on by like the previous email scandals? Yes, I'm sorry to say I think it will, because the people who run the Justice Department are the same folks who want her to succeed President Obama in the Oval Office. Judge Napolitano, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Always appreciate it. Thank Pleasure, you. Pleasure, Stuart. Yes, sir.